So you're saying this is their prize piece? Yes, I'm quite sure. The Lonely Planet, the museum, that guy over there, they all say it. <laughs> so this painting, uh, it must be worth quite some money. Quite some? Uh, very much so. Well, it is being guarded and watched 24-7. The museum's program even says it. Morning, boys. Ah. Hi, boys. Thanks for coming down at such short notice. What seems to be the problem? Well, as you know, here at Troll and Mantis Art Museum, we pride ourselves on our anti-theft measurements, put in place by none other than Ron Cowling no less than 50 years ago. Unfortunately, items are still being stolen from beneath our noses. And you want us to investigate? Of course. It's protocol that issues like this be looked into and hopefully resolved. What paintings have been stolen so far? Nothing of real value yet. This right here is our most prized possession. It has recently been decommissioned by the government who has had possession of it since World War II. As you can see, it's labelled Artifact 964, which doesn't make much sense because we don't even have 900 items in this museum. Oh, are you crying? You're, you're crying. What? <laughs> Is someone cooking chili in here? It's onion, you pizza brain. <laughs> chili too. Oh, it's all right. You're probably just emotionally overwhelmed by the beauty of the art. Don't worry, it gets me too. Yes, exactly that. Leonardo, Vincent, Mark, I'd like you to meet my associate, Gerard. Hello, boys. Gerard. Continue. Uh, Gerard, why don't you take these lads on the tour of the museum before anything else gets stolen? Certainly. Look, no need. We'll have a look at the reports and we'll head back and report to you when we have something to look at. Well, uh, is there anything else I can do for you boys? Some champagne? I'm sure something's up. Something? I think everything's up. Even the sky. That's suspicious looking rock. We'll keep this for evidence. I've never seen Gerard so calm. But all of his paintings are being stolen. He's a living oxymoron. Go for the trio. Who is it? Shh. It's Gerard, a business call. Boys, boys, I'm sorry, but you need to come back. Wait, you don't mean another painting? Has been stolen, right? Yes, boys. Smoking rabbits! Moist fish fingers! Jumping frankfurts! Which artwork was it this time? Artifact 964. Of course it was! That's their most prized possession! Yes, yes. The urgency is very real. We need you to come in ASAP. Well, we can't be there ASAP, but we'll be there as soon as possible. You blunt brush, he means we need to be there right now. Like right now! I thought we were meeting Gerard here. No, we don't want to alert the public and we can't make it obvious. But we always see him in person. Does he not trust us with this? Aren't you two meant to be in uniform? As stated, we can't let the public. Having two of us in uniform give something off. Exactly. Two uniformed persons raises alarms, suspicions, annoying questions. Photographs from middle-aged German tourists and happy teen Asians with their gang signs. Plus, you know, it's our day off. Exactly. Please come with us. Did you guys see this? Shh. Don't attract attention. Even the slightest abnormal sound could make it obvious that we're headed somewhere super important. So don't say anything. Keep it hush.
Didn't you say we were meeting Gerard, you two? They were just behind us, right? I'm not going crazy, am I? I do see some great hairs. <laughs> I'm only <laughs> teeny. Guys, focus! Ah, boys, good to see you. Where were you? We were expecting you as per the phone call moments ago. We even had to deal with your two weirdo bodyguards. If you've caught us in for what we think you've caught us in for, why aren't the alarms going off and why aren't there people everywhere? You weren't taken through the hallway that leads straight past the exhibit hall? No, we were taken a different way. We obviously went the back way. Why were you taken through the back? <laughs> oh! What is that? It's the alarm, remember? No, I don't want to buy farm. You dead to frame, he said. The alarm is going off. Sorry. It was to notify us that the painting has officially left the building. What? Why did it just go off and not when it was taken from its place? Why isn't the museum going into a frenzy? That's your biggest art piece known to the museum's history. You don't think we don't know that? This is our museum and we know what's going on. There'll be a PA system excusing us in a second. All right, settle down, folks. Now we understand what is happening here is a bit odd, but as some of you may Do you see that guy standing over there by the left? Cowboy hat guy? Yeah. He, why does he look familiar? Do you remember when we looked through the archive footage? He was the guy standing suspiciously close to the painting. That's what I thought. It was suspicious. He was so close to us. Do we question him first or last? Last. We're only 18 pages into the script. What? <clears throat> so bear with us and we'll make sure everything runs as quickly and as smoothly as possible. I'm Leonardo. And I'm Mark. And I'm Vincent. And we're here today to solve the mystery of the missing painting. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to interview you guys separately to gain some perspective. We'll need lines. Two of them. One for people in the exhibition hall and one for people in the hallway. Now, we understand it might be weird being held in a room, being videotaped for case purposes and being relatively detained. But don't be a wuss. <laughs> and with that, we start. So, miss? Um, it's Lorraine. Ugly name, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Alright, Lorraine. What can you tell us? Well, I was in the art exhibit area. Admiring the art. Mm, more like the hot card watching us. So, like, when suddenly this guy just randomly tells us to get out, like, who do you think you are? It's me. It's so totally rude. Um, and who was this gentleman? Can you describe him? I only went to jail once. I swear. I was framed, okay? Uh, that, that, that's okay, I guess. Look. How about you tell us? No! I can't go back! Let's try that again. What did this gentleman look like? Uh, like, IDK. I was thinking, mm, emoji face with, like, emoji man. He had, like, a purple heart emoji shirt colour, I think. Boys. The description fits what those two guards were wearing when they greeted us. I do remember that ugly shirt, so Gerard seems compromised. Can't say for sure though. That's only six of them. Hey, can you bring in the other four please? Well, I was looking at the odd painting colour scheme and I noticed that it didn't match the drapes or the carpet colour in the hallway. And then they told us all to evacuate. So what can you tell us about right before the incident occurred? It's just on my phone. Don't my league status, so didn't really see anything. I had some serious pains. Pains? Pains. Oh. <laughs> Next person, thanks. So I was standing by the clay piece when I went to tie my shoelace, even though I was wearing heels, and next thing I know, everyone's gone. Okay, that's enough. Thank you for your time. I feel like we've missed someone. That guy! Oh yeah! Where'd he go? No! 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 Way! I, I don't suppose he left an address on it, did he? Nope. But I know who can tell us. What does it mean? Look at what he's written on there. Let's go. Oh, 
I think that's something you're not telling us. That's preposterous. Well, I don't think so. Yeah, neither do I. Tell him, Leo. I just want to know one thing, Gerard. What does 964 mean? 964? I, I don't know. Well, then would you mind telling me where that slightly dodgy representation of a teenage boy has disappeared to? Cody, how do you know his name? Yeah, how do you know? You got me. He lives in house 96 on 4th Street. That's just 964 in the same order. See, I guess you're right. Let's go. They know. What have they done to you? How did you find me? Gerard told us. He did? No. No, you need to leave. What's that noise? Vincent, keep watch. Mark, keep holding that torch. Why are you like this? They didn't want you to find out. I saw it happen. You stole the painting? Well, no wonder they bashed you up, kid. No. It wasn't me. Do you know who stole it? It was Gerard. Now, come on, wake up, man. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. That's not true. That's not possible. Are you really surprised? Contact, 12 o'clock. But it's only 8. Let's go. No, we can't just leave his body here. Okay, maybe just this once. Gentlemen? Thief! We trusted you! Why, Gerard? Yeah, Gerard, why? Like I said, an investigation is museum protocol. But it's not ours. We're not even proper detectives. You found us, didn't you? Are you guys even the managers of the museum? Surely you wouldn't do this if you were. Oh, you've got us all wrong. You see, we're the managers. Well, we don't own the museum. So why did you need the painting so badly? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just tell me. You've got us right where you want us. Well, 964? You didn't think that was a coincidence, did you? But what does it mean? We don't know, and that's what we're trying to find out. So there was nothing special about the artist? The artist? Walters was a strange man. He would often paint in blood, and nobody understood him. But this is his last work, and I want to find out what it means. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh... Those sapphire crystal headlights? I'm sorry, what? Duck! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know either. Well, I wonder what he was guessing at. What? 964? Yeah. I don't know, man. He was just crazy. He said something about painting in blood as well. I suppose. Well, that's no time to rest. We've got a painting to recover. I'm with you. So am I. Das weiß ich nicht.